What is going on, lunatics? At its best, trading crypto is like a PvP game. Uh, PvP? You mean like PvP poker? Oh, Jesus Christ, please, would you just chill out with this? Just one, give me a minute. Let me do my thing here, and then we'll talk about it, okay? Anyway, it's PvP. It's player versus player. You're trying to get price to go up. They're trying to get price to go down. Everybody's looking to buy the bottom. Everybody's looking to sell the top. Everybody is in this entire game of crypto, this this crypto casino. You said casino. You said casino. Does this mean I get to go? Does this mean it's my time? Oh my God, dude, just chill out. It's not your time yet. Just relax a little bit. It's going to happen. Guys, it's all a big risk. Everything that we do here is, and, and let me talk to you about some news here, and then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get into all of this. So, so uh, first of all, the LFG, Luna Foundation Guard, tightens grip on crypto holdings after Terraform's $4.5 billion SEC settlement. So the LFG moved its crypto holdings to a secure location after a big fine from... Uh, the SEC. Closely linked to Terraform Labs, they've taken a significant step by transferring its crypto assets to Direct Custody Solution. This move followed a substantial settlement with the SEC, raising questions about the foundation's financial strategies. Um, now, this should have people a little bit nervous because the transfer involves significant sums of cryptocurrency. 1.974 million Avalanche, valued at 71 million. Uh, 39,499 BNB, worth 23.5 million. To maintain transparency and trust, LFG has established a reserves dashboard. This dashboard offers real-time tracking of the funds held in the LFG linked wallets, ensuring continued transparency and traceability. Now, that transparency goes all the way back here to November of 2022. So if you're looking for uh, information, the links are in the description, of course. And this tells you exactly what's been going on and, and why they're doing it and what they're holding on to. But again, this is 2022. This is not now. So you might be asking yourself, like, what is going on over here? Well, the crypto market uh, avalanche has gone down 34% in a month. Now that, by the way, this has nothing to do with this. This is uh, somebody, th this article, not completely, they're 34% um, the decline in avalanche is not because of Luna. Uh, or the settlement, while Luna and USTC have fallen by 30 and 20% respectively. As of now, LFG's total reserve balance stands at 124 million, with Bitcoin holdings at 19 million, Avalanche around 50 million, and BNB 33 million. So in response to the settlement, Chris Amani has initiated the sale of major projects like Pulsar, Finance, and Station Wallet. Uh, despite these divestments, TFL remains committed to operating its remaining products. However, these strategic shifts have coincided with significant drops in these prices. However, it, right, but it's all project. It's not really, so when you see this, this is not really a thing uh, in so much as I would be nervous about LFG transferring money around, that would make me incredibly nervous. So, um, you know, if you're nervous about it, then you probably should be because you never know what LFG is going to do despite what they tell you. But let's move on. Now, it is official that BTC Turk has delisted Lunk. Now, I don't know at this point. Remember, I told you a couple days ago, I don't know if they're going to relaunch or what they're going to do. I think they took this as an opportunity of, not my problem, you know what I mean? Uh, the way that it looks right now. So I suggest that if you have any money on BTC Turk at any on any level, get it off of the exchange now uh, and, and show that you do not support the removal of Luna Classic. Uh, it was delisted uh, and then Zach XBT by the way, they, they originally said it was 50, they said like $30 million, but it's actually $54 million. However, um, Zach XBT counted 1.96 million avalanche tokens in a suspicious transaction. Uh, it was used to siphon digital assets from Turk and later swapped into assets from Coinbase and Thorchain. But then Certic stepped in um, and they ended up with over 90 million in assets. So Zach's number, 54 million, was only a piece of it. Uh, there's way more that was happening over here. However, um, these were the total uh, exploits over here. Uh, CoinStats got uh, ripped off for 10 million. Sports bet 3.5 million. I'm sorry, did you just say sports bets? Okay, you know what? Time's up here. We got to talk about this. Guys, if you want to do some risk-based gaming, Terra Casino is your place to go. They're one of the sponsors of the channel, along with Terraport.Finance. You got to check these guys out. You can trade your Luna Classic, Luna, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, 
BUSD, Polygon Matic, USDC, USDT, and Dogecoin. If you want to do some risk-based gaming, you can do sports wagering, PvP poker. Uh, you can play some of these uh digital slot machines, some of these other games. What are you waiting for? You guys, you want to earn a little bit, some, you want to have a little fun? What more fun than a little bit of risk-based gaming? Come on, guys, try it out now. Well, congratulations, Bleefs, you got it in. So anyway, uh, Luna Classic is now dumped, and we're sitting around, I want to say 82. We're going to look at the chart in just a second. But if this is where we are, this is you know what's going on. Now, the question at this point is, and we don't have any information yet, uh, from BTC Turk. I don't know what the volume is or whether it's worth it or anything like that, but uh, we did get 6.5 billion in burn out of it. So at this point, we'll just kind of uh, sit on the sidelines and, and sort of wait here. And, and the good part is there's some closure. Now, uh, remember, broadly, the crypto market is still in dump mode until we get Bitcoin above, I want to say uh, 65,000 as a support level, then we're probably looking at a little bit more downside. That means uh, Luna Classic probably looking a little more downside. If you don't have the risk tolerance for this, by the way, why are you even in crypto? You know what I mean? Um, you should be buying the bottom. And, and by the way, if you are invested in Luna Classic and you see this dip like this, and this is way below what you uh, what you entered into, if you believe in this project, if you believe in the project, DCA. Buy a little bit more so that your your dollar cost average is a little bit cheaper. But pretend like you're a real investor and just do it like a real investor. Now, when the price goes back up, you get a little bit closer to uh, break even. And that's if you think that this is the bottom. And I do think that uh, there could, could be some more downside, by the way. I, I don't want to say that there won't be. But we're pretty low when you really kind of sit back and consider it. But we'll get into the chart again in just a moment. Also, uh, the Lunk Luna Alliance module unleashed the power of Cosmos. Now, this is a big deal. In my opinion, it's very early on. We're having a discussion about it right now. <sighs> English is not this guy's first language. You can kind of see that when you're reading through it, but the but the, the, the information remains the same, okay? Now, I don't know if there's anybody who uh, is ready to, to help with this or anything like that, but remember, Anchor Protocol was a, a very big part here, okay? Since two years, Lunk has been in a stagnant mode to build a massive ecosystem to attract big TVL and volume. Many developers remain hesitant to jump to Lunk as there is no structure in place to fund development in the early stages after the DPA. After some time, the community came to the conclusion to burn excessive supply by implementing a burn tax. The burn tax will take more than 200 years to reach the conclusive goal of more than $1 in Lunk. And, and by the way, this guy just clearly doesn't have an understanding or complete and thorough understanding of what is going on. The burn tax w takes 200 years and they're right, by the way. However, the reason it was set the way that it was set was because exchanges would not continue to list Luna Classic unless we made concessions on it, if you guys remember. The solution to fire up the Lunk ecosystem immediately is Alliance Module. Um, what is the Terra Money Alliance Module? Alliance Module is a flagship open source product whose sole purpose is to build alliances with many chains. It will help unleash the Lunk true potential, and you can come over here and check each and every one of these things out. Uh, there's a zero day lockup period for Alliance assets. Now, uh, we need to form alliances with many changes so we can attract changes chains so we can attract TVL and volume. Once TVL and volume come to Lunk, many Cosmos product and application will start to support Lunk. More products and applications, more volume equals burn. Lunk does not have much of Cosmos liquidity on its chain for two years, which makes it difficult for other chains products application to support Lunk because there's no money. Alliance module will solve much of the Lunk issues of TVL and volume. It will bring huge influx of communities through other chains. Now the potential exists. Will it actually happen? We don't know, but people love a comeback story. Don't forget that. After Terraform, Terraform Lab exit, Labs exit, Luna is a decentralized chain like Lunk, which is truly owned by the community. Luna and the Lunk Alliance will help TVL to skyrocket. Staking APY will increase by 300%, volume will start to quadruple, and many communities with other chains will join Lunk. Massive arbitrage opportunities will be created. Once alliances form, more chains will start to join the Lunk Alliance and start to support Lunk through their ecosystem. Reward weight is 1.5, take rate 1.5. Lunk APY will increase by a minimum of 300% by getting Luna inflation on the Lunk chain with zero-day unbonding and lock up period. Within four months, more developers, communities, and chains will join without any doubt. We will reach more than a nine billion market cap with the help of the Alliance module. Now, that sounds like a pretty good move. Uh, and in fact, if you just consider we're sitting around 500 million market cap right now, we're talking about an 18x 
Now, is that a guess? He is wildly guessing. He is not telling you that this is exactly what's going to happen. This is his opinion of what's going to happen. But I support anybody who has an opinion that something is going to go up. Now, this is up for discussion on the Commonwealth. Uh, I would implore you to go read it and decide whether or not this is uh, something for you. As far as uh, governance proposals, there are no governance proposals. Now, as far as the price goes, uh, you can see up here, we're down about $13 billion in market cap on the day, and we're trading at four zeros 81. Now, uh, you know, again, we would like to be up in this little range right here, about 50% higher than we are. This is a significant dump. If you just consider that from June the 1st until right now, uh, June the 1st, which was right here, uh, down here, we are down about 40%. This is a big, big dump. This is this was a lot to, to, to go through, right? Uh, however, uh, we've caught back up and we've had a spike in price from that bottom up about 17%. So we've retraced a little bit of that. Now the question is, can we continue to move towards that upside? Now, the answer to that appears to be yes. And the reason that I, I, I'm going to say that the, the answer appears to be yes is because if you can consider what I told you guys before was that we had broken out and we had minted a candle here outside of this trend line, but we immediately got back into the trend line. And for the last two days, we've been sitting at or near that trend line. Now, we keep getting little fluctuations up to the top, little attempts for a breakout uh, to break back in. Uh, sellers probably looking at about nine, four zeros nine. So we'll probably get a spike here in a little while. I don't wanna say we're gonna break down. I wanna say that we're probably gonna break up. Here's the problem. Uh, the problem is the market is still a little bit wonky. And until we get you know some, some, some real good cash flowing back into the market, this might pr be prohibitive. And we might look at four zeros nine as a new normal for a short period of time until we find find out who's going to um, lap up those extra tokens that are now in the market because of BTC Turk, because, you know, apparently at this point the, we can consider they got hacked and now they're a bunch of backstabbers because they are taking the supply and just dumping it back into the open market. Now the mark, the market, of course, it's sitting on Binance. So we'll see what happens here. Maybe Binance will just fold it into whatever it is that they're doing. Uh, maybe Bitcoin Turk will give them a discount on it and then it'll just be an OTC transfer or something like that. I don't know uh, exactly what they plan to do, but I'm going to certainly be interested to see exactly how it works. Now, uh, again, 9,000 seems to be that kind of range. And you remember over here, we told you yesterday, that's kind of in the volume profile range at 9,000, like right over here. Uh, but this, the trade volume right here is, is right around three zeros 11. So I think we're going to have a big move back up into that range, but let me know what you think in the comments. As far as coin haul goes, I haven't made any moves yet. As you can see right now, I'm just still holding almost everything in Luna Classic for that moment. Uh, now remember, I do have a lot more Luna Classic than this, but... Uh, I'm only using this small amount of about $2 million uh, to, to flip these meme coins. My intention here for the meme coins is to... Folks, if crypto goes up, you need more crypto. If crypto goes sideways, you need more crypto. If crypto goes down, you need even more crypto. What better place to do it than Cryptonomy.finance? Remember, Cryptonomy is a hedge against whatever might befall this economy and this market. So let's check it out. Since the last time we talked, 2.3x return, 2.95x return, 2.37x return, 1.4x return, 1.59x return. Now in the meantime, I'm gonna take my XRP. I've got 12,800 XRP. I'm gonna max that out. I'm gonna stake this for uh, nine months here. 71.8% yield return. That's gonna give me an estimated amount, 9,208 more XRP. Don't you want more XRP? Now that I've done that, I'm gonna go back over here to the launch pool. I'm gonna throw in about half a Bitcoin. Again, I'm gonna be in the bronze level, I'll put 0.43 in. That's a good risk for me and a good return for me. Folks, it doesn't get any simpler than this. If you are looking for more crypto, stake it. That's what everybody tells you, right? So do that and you should be fine. But I'm not a financial advisor. If you want financial advice, go to the research section of cryptonomy.finance and they'll tell you what you need to know. We'll talk to you again very, very soon get myself some rack off, get myself some Roddy, get myself some Terra, you know, get, get into some of these other tokens here and, and ride them up because I think they've got some tremendous upside. We've got some Lunk Pepe that we want to pick up. I want to pick up a little bit more cookie. Uh, I definitely want to get some more toot in common. It's, we're talking about it's down 11% right now. So we're going to buy these on the dip, but we're waiting for, you know, the right dip. And again, I don't think that this is the market for that. And the first thing that I want to see is I want to see a pump in the Luna Classic price, which is why I basically put everything into that right now.
As far as volume goes, down 70% on the day. Market cap, 445 million. Same thing over here with USTC, just kind of down. And you know, look, the market is not really soaring. We've got good volume, but most of that volume is in the top right now. Uh, looks like, I think maybe Solana might be in, in the mood for a breakout. Um, so, you know, we'll see what happens over there. Uh, again, no proposals, Lunk Dash. Uh, we still have about 7 billion tokens burned. And if you're looking to do any of this kind of trading over here, then you should be using uh, Terraport. Terraport is the place to come. Uh, it's what you want to do if you're doing some trading. And uh, remember, they are, along with Terra Casino, some of the top burners in all of this. Terra Casino clocks in at number eight right here. Terraport Finance right here. Now let me point out something. Uh, somebody who has undue influence on this entire uh, ecosystem, all nodes, Ha, uh, Terra Casino has burned almost as much as all nodes at this point. So we have to at least consider that maybe uh, the better actor in all of this is Terra Casino and Terraport Finance. So it's, yeah, you guys support those. If you if you support those, then you know this this thing goes a little bit smoother. Is it you know perfect? No, uh, but it's certainly going to be a lot cooler. Be a lot cooler if you did. You know what I mean? So. Um, yeah, I think that kind of wraps us up for the day. Um, I don't want to get too long. I've already talked quite a bit. So, guys, be very careful in your trading. Remember that there is risk associated with everything. Uh, the Luna Classic ecosystem is due for a massive pump. It's due for a break back to the upside. Conditions will have to be optimal. We'll need some closure on a few things. We're, we'll need to know what's going on with Bitcoin Turk. We'll need to know what's going on with uh, Terraform Labs. We'll need to know about that $274 billion that's about to be burned. We, we need The pieces have to kind of fit back in place. And once those pieces fit back in place, and in five days now, we're going to get another Binance burn. So when we see all of these pieces start coming together, then... You know, it, it might be just a, a, a magnificent sort of thing. And by the way, let me point something out. And I don't think that anybody's kind of uh, said this yet, but Binance is where everything got moved to, which means that there was an enormous amount of volume on Binance. So how much do you think Binance is going to burn? Leave your guess down in the description below. So, um, and, but until next time, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, check out Terraport, check out Terra Casino. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right.